Welcome to this post-game press conference of the 2024 NCAA Division III Field Hockey Tournament. Quarterfinal action today, Salisbury defeating Christopher Newport 2-1 in a shootout. And we're joined by representatives of the victorious uh, Seagulls. Left to right is uh, Murphy Lawson, Hannah Johnson, Marley McDormand, and head coach Dawn Chamberlain. Coach, you're headed to the Final Four for the first time since 2019 and the first time with this crew. Uh, what are your initial thoughts? I, I, I couldn't be happier right now. Um, lost for words because this group has been such a special group all year from start to now. Um, you know, there, there's just something about them. And, uh, you know, our word this year was outrageous love, and, and that's what they had, outrageous love for each other, for the sport, and for, you know, doing everything that they could to make sure we got to this point. And, you know, everything – Everything that they've put their minds to, they've been able to accomplish so far. So uh, hopefully we're not done. Marley, you scored the only goal for SU in game action early in the third quarter. I was off of a penalty corner. What were you looking for? What did you end up uh, getting? Well, I knew that I got moved to forward um, in practice this week, so I knew that my only job was to put the goal and put the ball in the back of the um, net. So I just went in there, and that's what I did because I was not leaving that game without scoring. So. <laughs> Hannah, you had a couple of defensive saves, including that um, clutch one at the end of the first half. Uh, what's your mentality whenever you got to really get into the box and really have to keep that ball from going to the back of the cage? Yeah, so on defensive corners, that's literally my job. I'm on the left post, so I just keep my stick down and low the whole time and hope that I can stop any shots that come at me. And um, I didn't want to let any goals in today, so I put my whole body into it. I put everything into it, and I stopped the ball. Murphy, uh, we called upon you again for uh, penalty strokes against CNU for the second time in a little over a week. What did you learn from the first game against CNU where you had to do that that you were able to apply to get two saves in this one? I learned that I just need to have fast feet and I just need to trust myself and not to overthink anything. And, I mean, it worked, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll open it up to the press. Don, what kind of confidence do you have in a <coughs> freshman goalie to, you know, ask upon her, uh, to get her in the game, just kind of cold out of the game? Yeah, I mean, you know, that that's her area. I mean, she's she's good on strokes. Um, you know, she's had some uh, real close ones this year, and, you know, she's she's good on the, the shootout. So, um, you know, we have all the confidence in her to step up and, and get the job done, and she's done it two weekends in a row. So, um, you know, that, that should give her a lot of confidence moving forward. Um, Hannah? Uh, no matter what happened today, this was your last game at Siegel Stadium. Uh, how can you reflect? You're going to make her cry. There <laughs> 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 you are. Um, no, but I love this team so much. And the past four years, we've always been so close to the Final Four. And we would just fall short in this round every year. So we all had the same mentality going into this game. And we all wanted to win it so bad. And we haven't lost at home this whole season. Um, so we wanted to finish out the home stretch. And we did. Marley, what's it been like uh, since McKenna has been out to try to, you know, pick up the workload of her and, you know, still produce those goals that you guys have been able to execute in this NCAA tournament? Yeah, so I definitely think we just had to adjust. We kind of changed some people around, of course. Um, we still have, I mean, McKenna was extremely fast, but we still have people that are just kind of as fast and get can get up there for us. So we just kind of had to adjust and, you know, maybe use the, like, flat balls instead of those long through balls that McKenna was really good at getting at, so... Coach, um, we well, heard you say at various points this season, Lexington has been good to us <laughs> when the uh, national semifinals and championship have been there. Now you're going to Lexington, you get Middlebury. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I mean, you know, they're, they're probably the best team in the country. Uh, even though that they weren't ranked uh, the number one team in the country, they're probably still the best team in the country uh, out there. You know, they're, you know, what are they, five, six national championships in a row? I mean, that's, that's pretty incredible. I have a lot of respect for them. Um, and it's going to be a battle. And, you know, um, you know the, the difficult thing for us to overcome is the surface because it's going to be astroturf. It's going to be really fast. But these guys like to play on that. So it's just a matter of how fast we adjust when we get down there. But, um, you know, we're just looking forward to going, um, you know, having a great experience and, you know, making the adjustment quickly and, and coming out with a W. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone, uh, thanks for joining us. Congratulations and all the best in Lexington. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.